Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about a more serious topic. I want to talk about sexual harassment in Japan. I know Japan is famous for many good things such as sushi, anime, manga, sumo, karate, but it has a bad reputation when it comes to sexual harassment. Many people complained about having been touched on the train. There's a word for that, it's called chikan, and many other things. So since I've been living here for total almost two years, I want to share my experience because I feel like I've lived in Tokyo long enough to kind of say something now. For me, I'm Italian, so first of all, what do we mean by sexual harassment? In Italy, people do a lot of things that in other countries would be considered sexual harassment. It's completely normal when you walk on the street to hear comments. Guys make comments about you. They ask for your name, they ask for your number, they try to start a conversation. That is completely normal. And in my mind, I don't feel hurt or, I don't know, I don't think that it's dangerous or sexual harassment. It's just like, oh, man. That's normal. In countries like Korea, I guess, things like that are illegal. So it depends on your definition of sexual harassment. But regarding inappropriate comments, Japan is fine, usually. I mean, compared to Italy, Japan is fine. Like in two years, two people stopped me on the street and asked for my number or asked if I wanted to go and have a drink together. Two people in two years. Usually people don't even look at you because they're very respectful of your privacy, your space, even your image. Like they don't look at you. Nice, perfect. So if you have low self-esteem, don't go to Japan. But <laughs> very respectful. It's true that you can experience chikan sometimes when the train is packed. When the train is super, super, super crowded, you feel some strange hands on you and you're not sure whether it's intentional or if it's just because it's too crowded. Sometimes I feel like I'm touching people and I don't even want to. So it's like, oh my God, I hope this person doesn't think I'm touching them. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure sometimes people do it intentionally. But it was the same in Italy. It was the same in Rome for me. When I was a high school student and the morning bus was super packed, I felt some strange hands around me. And that's uh, so frustrating because you cannot tell who that person is because there are so many people and you're not sure about the hand that is touching you. Whose hand is that? And then you just want to say something but you're not sure whether it's intentional or not. So it's a very frustrating experience but I wouldn't say it's Japan. In Italy it was the same. Besides that, in two years I've only experienced two strange episodes with crazy Japanese men. The first one, Brian was there. I was going up some stairs at the metro station and there was a guy behind me and Brian was behind this guy and this man, he was filming my butt <laughs> while I was climbing the stairs and Brian saw it so he stopped him but the guy started running so we lost him. I wouldn't have known if it hadn't been for Brian because he was there. He didn't touch me or anything but still didn't appreciate that, I felt violated. Brian was really mad at this guy. So this thing happened once. The second thing, it actually happened yesterday and that's why I'm making this video today. I finished working, I was going home, I was on the train, I was sitting next to this young man, probably my age, around my age, not bad looking, not just like average looking. I didn't even look at him that well because I was just sitting down and I was tired. And that was strange, even like when I sat down, I felt that it was a little strange because he was touching my arm with his arm, which is not common in Japan. They usually, they are very respectful of your private space. They don't touch you, they kind of like try to stay in their own seat. But he was touching my arm and I was like, okay, well, maybe he's drunk, you know, it's 10.30 p.m. And he was doing this. I was like, gosh, he's really drunk. But I was trying not to look at him to be respectful. So I was looking at my phone and then he touched my thigh with his hand. And I was like, all right, maybe he's not drunk. So when he did this again, I looked towards him it, and he was kind of showing me his phone. He was close to me so I could see his phone. When I looked at his phone, I saw a picture of a young girl doing something to a man. <laughs> it was a picture that showed a lot. When I saw it, I stood up, got next to the door, got off at my station. I told Brian, come to the station. I don't want this guy to follow me. Honestly, he didn't even get off the train. 
I guess he tried in his own strange way. He was like, oh, maybe she's interested. Let's give it a shot. Kind of strange, but nothing happened. Still, really disrespectful. I was like, wow. Especially when he touched my thigh. Like, he didn't really touch my thigh, but he was more like, I was like, don't. But anyways, this is the second episode. So in two years, I've only experienced these two bad things. I would say it's not too bad. It's not like Japan deserves its reputation, I feel like. People here are really respectful. I don't feel sexually harassed. So if you are a girl and you plan on moving to Japan, of course, Japan is not perfect. Things happen, but it's not this strange country where all the inhabitants are perverts. It's a normal country. Just be careful, the usual. I mainly wanted to share my experience and if you have any thoughts about it or if you had uh, good experiences, bad experiences in Japan, leave a comment below. See ya, bye!